Welcome, my Lego YouTube friends and fans of the Pick a Brick Wall and also the the budget conscious. Because in this series, I, t I take a look at the value of Pick a Brick Wall and uh, are they a good value versus the um, you know getting sets or you know again Bricklink is a great way to get aftermarket parts. Uh, eBay, Mercari, um, sometimes, you know, obviously Lego has their, their own, um, you know, you, their parts ordering system, which I think is, you know, very expensive, but for the purposes of this video, um, we're going to use Bricklink average price. And, you know, one thing too, to note, that's really important that we've done. Uh, so now this is the, uh, fourth video, uh, in the series actually no fifth video in the series because we did uh, we did one by circular slash plates uh, where we were able to get 1500 parts in a single and I don't stack uh, stacking is a way to really you know maximize your space you can probably pack in an extra 10 to 15 percent uh, of parts if you do perfect stacking um, the other so we did one buys we did uh, one by two bricks, we did one by three bricks, we did two by three plates, and now we're doing one by three plates to really get a good view of just very conservatively can you break even on the pick a brick wall versus average brick link prices. And always keep in mind, the, I mean, the good thing is uh, the time to buy uh, pick a brick wall is double VIP. Uh, or again, I think be on the watch for unique parts because anytime it feels like you can get unique parts, that is the time to pounce on the pick a brick wall. So what I'll be doing is uh, as I'm going through here, um, let's uh, actually here, this is the way to kind of dump them all uh, just like that. We'll sort them out in little piles. Uh, I'll set this aside. You know, we'll kind of uh, get them all, all counted out. So I'll pause the video for just a moment. We'll count them out and then we'll analyze uh, how we did. Okay, we've got them all sorted. You won't, Some of the piles will be off screen a little bit, but there we go. I'm going to get them all uh, count it up. So let's get this started here. They're in piles of 10. So we've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 30 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37. So that's 370 pieces, and then I have a small pile right here of five. So 375 pieces. We are going to give the one by three just a generic value. Again, there are some that are probably you know worth max of four cents on Bricklink, and then there's a lot of them in that six to eight cent range, especially for those specialized colors. Dark orange, my favorite, uh, is just crazy expensive. So again, 375, 75, that's a, that's a whopper of a, of a number. So again, at five cents per in the one by three brick, just an FY runs about, um, let's see. So, uh, that one ran, uh, six cents on average times, whoops, 370 uh let's see here yeah 375 times 0 0.05 equals 1875 so essentially you uh would have doubled your money and even think like no shipping you can do double vip get a nice little deal so the one by three and especially when you're doing like dark dark green you know tan was a very common one so that was typically around four to five cents uh, a piece but again like i said if you're looking at some of the the uh maybe not uh like high common parts like a tan um that's where the value could really go up i think even black was like six to eight cents because it's so commonly sold it's just always in high demand so that is really really solid the 
one by three. And then of course you could do a mixed setup where you do, uh, you know, and, and this was again, 375, I wasn't fully stacking and there was room for a, a little bit of extra at the top. So you could really push that value to probably at over $20 worth of one by threes without too much, a uh, little bit of extra effort. So, uh, and then of course you could do the option where you could do some two buys, you could do some singles to really up and amplify the value of the pick a brick wall. So that's an amazing number. If you really want to up your part count, the pick a brick wall uh, or buying uh, based on weight is uh, an awesome way to go. So uh, thank you so much for joining me on my journey. Again, this is the uh, the let's see, the fifth uh, pick a brick wall analyst. You know of different parts. Uh, join me on the next week. We'll pro we'll do the uh, two by two plate and see if that really changes things up. My guess is it's going to be pretty close. Maybe a little bit less value because there's a little bit more uh, area uh, space, um, but we'll, we shall see. So thanks again for joining me on this uh, you know, experiment, and we'll catch you on the next Pick a Brick Wall video. Bye for now.